Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm uh, going to show you some scary movies. It's Halloween and a lot of people are doing their Halloween videos and whatnot. Um, I'm a horror fan, but I'm not like, I don't like horror as much as I like, say, spaghetti westerns, westerns, film noir, stuff like that. But I do dig a, a good scary movie. I love classic horror movies from Universal and Hammer and stuff like that. I'm um, getting into Amicus. Just discovered some movies uh, from that film company that was kind of a brief British uh, company. Uh, I'm starting to get into some of their cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show some um, uh, scary horror movies uh, for the Halloween season. Thought I would spotlight some stuff. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, like I said, I was getting into Amicus. Uh, they're a film company from the UK, similar to Hammer, but not quite as um, prolific, I guess you could say, as Hammer was. I mean, they put out a lot of stuff, but I'm also still learning about Amicus a little bit. Uh, but some of their best titles, um, I got two of their best titles, and um, I wanted to show those off to you. Uh, first one, this is from Warner Archive. This is a Blu-ray. Just got this last week and watched it. This is one of the new, uh, one of the new horror movies that I've um, that I've got recently and I'm watching. I just wanted to put that on there. Um, I've also pulled some stuff, uh, some of my favorites uh, that I've already off the shelf to, to re-watch. So you may see some stuff you've seen before. Maybe a few. But anyways, this movie I got the other day is really cool. It's called From Beyond the Grave. And it's like an anthology movie. It's kind of in the kind of in the kind of the realm of say creep show and stuff like that you can tell it was a big influence on stuff like that but they did some really good uh anthology movies uh one famous one that i've always n known about and i believe i've seen it on tv was vault of horror now i don't have that yet i need to add that to my collection uh but this one is really good. This is one that's been a fan favorite, critic favorite even. Uh, this is one of their best ones that they put together uh, from Beyond the Grave. Really cool. Um, I'm trying to think which one this is. Uh, is this the store? Yeah, this is the one about... Um, Uh, Peter Cushing runs this uh, antique store, uh, basically cursed items. Uh, it's kind of like this was before the Friday the 13th TV show that had a cursed antique store. Uh, this is before, you know, the uh, cursed items that the um, that showed up in the Annabelle movies and stuff like that. So this is one of the, the early leaders in that. And it's really good. Peter Cushing is really sinister. Kind of sinister. He's got that kind of twinkle in his eye about stuff. Uh, but people come in there unknowingly getting uh, cursed objects. And obviously it shows what happens and stuff. And so really good. Really original in a way. And uh, well written and acted and everything. And I really liked it. It's got a great uh, cast of people. Uh, Ian Bannon, it's got uh, Diana Doors, uh, Peter Cushing, like I mentioned, Donald Pleasance, uh, David Warner really sticks out to me. He's, he's in one of the good, one of the great episodes in this about a, a cursed mirror, uh, but really good. Uh, beyond, from Beyond the Grave. Super cool. You guys need to check that out. Uh, this is another one from Amicus. This is another anthology movie. They did they did about four or five of these i believe i know there's at least four now this one's called the house that dripped blood this is also from warner archive blu-ray really good this is another high rated one um super cool it's got all kinds of cool stuff again it's got a great cast you got christopher lee this time peter cushing uh dehome elliott dehome elliott I always get his name messed up uh just just to kind of, oh ingrid pitt 
um, is in a really good episode. Obviously playing a vampire, as she does really well. Uh, but yeah, this is another Amicus um, production from 1971. So I think this one came before Beyond the Grave. Uh, again, really good. I mean, it has the lovely Ingrid Pitt in it, guys. I mean, come on. If you know, she's very lovely as a vampire. Of course, you got the great team of Peter Cushing and Donald... Uh, Peter Cushing and uh, God, Christopher Lee. Gosh, I don't know why. But anyways, really good. Uh, highly rate this. I think you can get this between $10 and $14 on Amazon brand new. So there you go. Plus, it looks really good. It's a good print. Now here's a here's a release that I believe I showed last year. This came out a little bit last year, I think, or the year before. I can't remember exactly. I think it was last year, and I may have showed this last year, uh, but I, I wanted to rewatch them because I only watched them the first time uh, when I got the release last year. So I was able to rewatch them this time. So this is the Eureka Masters of Cinema uh, release of the Inner Sanctum. Uh, mysteries. Uh, this was released by Universal in the early mid 40s. Uh, it began life as a radio show. It was highly popular and there was different versions of it on radio and uh, Universal did a movie version of it and um, I, I, I don't know how they did this. If they showed each one um, it's kind of like on a on a double bill or something because each each episode aren't they're not very long. Um, I'd say maybe forty five minutes, an hour possibly. Uh, but basically, it's a project. It's it's a it's a vehicle for Lon Chaney Jr. to star in um, after the the big su success of the Wolfman in nineteen forty one. Universal was uh, trying to put him in some other stuff to kind of market him as the next you know horror star you know and everything and stuff so he does really good in this uh this is kind of a hit or miss um anthology um there is six episodes and i think out of the six maybe one of them is not that great um but saying great it's not really great as in just kind of a standard story it's not really scary it's not really it doesn't have great mystery to it so really really good it's got some good uh bonus stuff on here uh this is a region two release so you have to have an all region player for this particular edition um we, uh, what do you call it um mill creek put out a similar edition of this on on blu-ray which is all region and everything so um but I jumped on this when they first released it. This has a, for the, to get the slip case and the booklet and everything. So here's the, uh, the other, the other cover. So there you go. Really good. I uh, highly recommend that if you're wanting to look, uh, maybe check out something from Universal that you haven't seen because there's a lot of universal did a lot of horror movies and mystery movies and stuff like that uh it wasn't so much all frankenstein and dracula they did a lot of other little things and it's been fun over the past few years um going back and kind of watching some of the stuff made in the 40s and some of the oddballs from the 30s that i never got to see from universal so there you go check that out now this just came out last week uh this is for him uh warner archive blu-ray this just came out like i said uh this is todd browning's the mark of the vampire uh a whole lot of fun in this. this is a lot of fun i don't want to give away anything in case you've seen it um but it's really good this is a upgrade i don't believe it's been on blu-ray before um, i have this in a collection on dvd with some other horror movies uh like the Mask of Fu Manchu, and uh, you know what I'm talking about. It came out in the early 2000s, but this is an upgrade. It doesn't say on the back if it is, you know, 4K restored or anything, but it looks really good. I would have to get out the DVD version to watch it and see the differences and so It looks really good, but if anybody knows it's been restored or not, let me know. 
but it's a lot of fun. Uh, Mark of the Vampires got um, Bela Lugosi, uh, Lionel Atwell, um, gosh, um, Elizabeth Allen, uh, Lionel Barrymore. Uh, who else? Uh, good performance by Gene Hershalt. Uh, he did a really good performance. But this is right at 60 minutes, so it's an hour long. Uh, there was rumors that this was cut as much as 20 minutes, so this probably originally ran for like an hour and a half. Uh, but yeah, really good, beautifully done. Uh, got some little tricky things. Uh, some It's almost Todd Browning's, he kind of redoes his own movie, the Lost movie, um, London After Midnight, which, uh, you know, starred... Uh, uh, Lon Chaney Sr., which is a famous lost film. It was a silent movie and stuff. And uh, it's it's basically a remake of sorts um, of it. So it, it's kind of like, eh, man, I wish we had that, you know, London After Midnight. But it's real, It's a lot of fun. Um, if you've never seen it, just go in it. Don't, don't do any research on it. Just get it and watch it. If you love Bill Lugosi, uh, if you love the... Uh, you know the Warner Brothers and different uh, 30s stuff and the horror stuff. This was made by MGM, so it's slightly glossier, uh, but highly recommended, guys. Get this while it's on sale from uh, Amazon. Uh, next up, this is a newer movie of sorts. It's about 20 years old, uh, but I wanted to see this again. I, I was reading an article or something on it, and it. It, it reminded me about this. I, I wanted to get this. This is a movie called uh, Joyride, and I believe this came out in 1999, um, 2000, somewhere in there. But it stars C, uh, Steve Zahn, uh, a very younger uh, performance by Paul Walker before The Fast and Furious, and it's got Lily or Lily Sobieski. I always mess her name up. Uh, but yeah, really interesting movie. Um, it's kind of like they, uh, these guys are, you know, headed out to California. Or they're headed out somewhere. They get a CB to kind of kill the time, talk to truckers. And they end up talking to the wrong trucker. And, um, and then it turns into this cat and mouse game. Uh, if, if you like movies like, the, like Duel, where you're, a guy's being chased by a semi, this is um, like that. But it's a little... A little bit more it's a little more high octane and it's got some more characters involved and stuff pretty good um, but yeah good performances all around and stuff so yeah I highly recommend that so joyride I thought that would be fun to watch that again now this is a new one that I've never seen before and this is actually the last horror movie that Universal would make uh, so this would end the glory years of Universal that, you know, started in the late 20s or mid 20s with Phantom of the Opera all the way up to 1959, where this is the last official horror movie. I mean, they were doing a lot of sci-fi in the 50s, uh, but this would be the official last movie uh, for Universal would make. Uh, this is called Curse of the Undead. And this, uh, what makes this interesting is it's a... Uh, it's a horror western and uh basically there's a vampire who's a he's a, he's dressed in western garb and he actually he can he can seem like to me he can walk around during the daylight and stuff it's kind of they kind of took the vampire lore and kind of changed it around a little bit but it, it's really interesting i want to watch it again it's about 79 minutes um I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, like I said, I need to watch it again. I was watching it late one night, and it's like the next day, it's like I don't remember a lot of it for some reason, but definitely need to rewatch this again and check it out because it's very interesting. At least, you know, what makes it interesting is a horror western, also the last uh, horror movie by Universal up to that point. I mean, yeah, some people could say, well, Universal did um psycho the next year in 1960s but i think that goes somewhere else this is kind of the traditional universal horror stuff and everything so i thought that was interesting and finally guys this is a collector's release uh this is a new uh, 
release that came out recently. Uh, this is part of the Vestron video series where they're coming out with the, the slip cases and the extras and stuff. And so I finally got around to seeing this movie. Uh, I think I may have seen it on TV years ago, but I, I finally, finally got a copy of it. It looks really good, uh, but um, the movie is called uh, Dementia 13. And uh, this is known as the director's cut. And uh, what the only thing kind of sucks about this is Francis Ford Coppola uh, went in recently when they were cleaning it up and stuff, and he made some edits. He cut some stuff out, uh, which kind of sucks. Um, but uh, man, it it was a really good movie. Um, I can't believe it took me this long to see it, but I really liked it. It was really cool. Uh, beautifully made. Um, Francis Ford Coppola's um, also is his first movie he ever directed and stuff. So, but he does a introduction, and um, there's an audio commentary by him. So that's about it on here. Um, and I've heard some people talk about it that how oh, man they messed it up by shorten it and kind of like what George Lucas did to Star Wars. He went back and he modified things and did all this stuff and changed how it looks. And that's basically what he's done here. Maybe not that bad, but um, but it's a great movie. Uh, a lot of fun at Halloween. So there you go. Dementia 13. Oh yeah, let me show you that, guys. It's a, it's got the slip case. Uh, no special art or nothing. It just has that slip case. And those are very economical. You can get those. I think I got that for like $7 on Amazon. And it's a new release, so that's pretty cool. So that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this. This is just some of the, uh, some of the horror movies I've watched so far this month. So I just kind of an update. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys watch your horror movies. Comment on here. Let me know what you thought about these. Um, all that stuff and uh, make sure you like the episode if you really enjoyed it give me a like uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you haven't just subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, please subscribe and um, all that good stuff so i will see you later guys i get some more movies to watch and um, happy halloween and all that good stuff so see you later guys